125D has been a little bit stagnant lately. Um, we made quite a few upgrades, mainly to make it a reliable track car, which it's proven it has been. Uh, it's done a lot of road miles as well. But like I say, for the last probably six months, it's had minimal upgrades. We've decided to take it a little bit further. A couple of the lads here have got 135Is. Um, and we kind of want to do a little bit of real world testing between this, uh, the 135Is and um, M140s. We did get the 135s on the dyno at the weekend. It didn't go exactly to plan. We'll uh, cut in some footage from that. <laughs> No bueno. Next step for the 125, Snow Performance Stage 2 kit. We're doing that in preparation for some hybrid turbos and we've also got a set of race cams. So we're looking sort of well in excess of 300 horsepower. 350 would be nice, but I think that's a little bit optimistic. Let's have a look at what comes in the kit. So this is the Stage 2 kit from Snow Performance. It's very similar to the Stage 1 kit that we used on a lot of our builds up to now. Main difference being this VC50 controller, but the majority of other components, your tank, pump, one-way valve, fail-safe, solenoid and jets are all pretty much identical. We've actually gone for a number three and a number four jet. We'll do a little bit of testing with those on the dyno. We have got larger jets if needed. Like I said, the main difference with this kit is the VC50 controller. So this allows us to set a well as well as being a boost gauge it allows you to set the injection start point um, a maximum injection point and the ramp in between that so a little bit more progressive control we'll see how it works on the diesel obviously um, it's minimal time from start of injection to to full so whether we need that, it's going to be more on part throttle, I think, but we'll see how it performs. Obviously, one issue we're going to have with this kit is mounting the gauge. Um, we've had a little look around. Obviously, you can get universal pods to go on a pillar or around your clocks. But I think we're going to try and disassemble this vent and potentially 3D print a little gauge holder so we can have it nicely sat in there. It's in a nice line of sight, so it should be perfect location. Right, we've just been having a little eyeball up of where things are going to go. Obviously, we've got a plastic inlet manifold, which we don't really want to drill and tap into for the nozzle location. One possibility we are going to try and explore is a little sandwich plate between the inlet manifold and the throttle valve. So it's five to five. It'd be very nice if we can get this off, drawn up and over to our machine shop and have a plate here tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to be a little bit optimistic, but I'm going to try see how we get on. So I mentioned one predicament we had was where to install the nozzle. So last night we drew up a spacer plate which is going to fit in between the throttle body and the inlet manifold. We 3D printed a test piece, we set that off last night, sort of a quick mock-up. Mock uh, it was done when we got in this morning, we then sent the file straight over to the machine shop uh, and kindly stopped production and made the part for us. So in less than 24 hours, we've gone from prototype or drawing to finished part, which I'm quite happy with. We are going to make a few small changes to it, but for this one, it's perfect. That just sits in between the throttle valve and in there. And obviously you've got your nozzle and boost uh, takeoff. And we'll have a quick look at what the progress Jake's made on the fitment. So the tank and pump have been mounted inside. Uh, we've sort of utilised the roll cage and the rear seat delete for these. They are a universal kit. I think a lot of people probably want to mount a tank in the boot um, and sort of pump in the boot or sometimes people put the, 
the pump in the engine compartment if you want minimal noise. The other issue we said we had was mount in the gauge pod. Another thing that Harry's done is design and 3D print a little gauge pod holder that fits in place of the original air vent. Quite happy with how that's come out. Right, I'll leave Jake to crack on. Hopefully it'll be done by end of today or first thing tomorrow morning. Right, I've installed the Snow Performance water meth kit. And for test purposes, I've set the parameters of it quite low so I can get it to come on with a Mitivac. Normally you'd set it at injection start like a third of your boost pressure to a half. But if you look down there, that's it. And as, it, as I increase the pressure in the Mitivac, the flow increases in there because it's got a progressive curve. So as your boost increases, you get more flow. So fingers crossed we get it on the dyno and we get some power figures. Right, it's been a couple of weeks since we installed the uh, stage two water meth kit on the 125D. I've been a little bit busy, so I've not had a chance to get on the dyno until today. I've got a track day coming up uh, this Saturday, the 10th of December at Donington, so I want to make sure it's running right. Been doing a little bit of testing. We started off with a number three nozzle, just to be on the safe side. Um, and we, we saw a marginal increase. We've actually stepped it up to a number four jet now. So we'll have a look at what figures it's done. Well, the results from the number three jet, um, obviously we run the car up as it was first to get a baseline figure. We saw just under 260 horsepower. Um, with a number three jet, that increased to 272. And with a number four jet, 281. We also saw around 10 foot pound increase from both jets. So we can say on this application, going up a jet size, 10 horsepower, 10 foot pound um, and as you can see the AFR um, methanol's made it quite a bit richer wouldn't usually go any more than 16 to 1 and tapers off nicely towards the top end so overall pretty happy with the results um, decent sort of value for money upgrade and we're going to take it to the track this weekend see how we get on um, and then next week when we get it back we're going to look at the uh, hybrid turbos and after that we've got the race cams to install as well so uh, I'm hoping we're going to be well over 300, somewhere between 300 and 350 when everything's done. Cheers. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Link in description.